Hello and welcome to Morrisby. In this video I'm going to give you a general explanation of your Morrisby assessment results and I'll explain how to make the most of your Morrisby account. I'm using a sample student account for the purposes of this demo. So this is the account for a sample student called Nick. From the home page go to About Me. This is where you will find the results of your assessment, the timed aptitude tests and the untimed questionnaires. The aptitude test results are presented first. You can see the student's verbal, numerical and abstract scores in orange, with the spatial and mechanical results shown in green underneath. The different colours simply indicate two distinct groups of tests. The orange scores relate to your intellectual aptitudes or ability, and the green scores reveal your practical aptitudes. The pattern of scores within each group indicates the types of careers you could be suited to. Do check you understand what your scores are telling you about where your strengths lie. To help you with this, the interpretation of your aptitude scores is provided in the paragraphs underneath. The links on the right hand side give more information if required. So what do the results mean? This explains that your results are compared with others in your age group and that it's important to focus on what you do best rather than simply looking at the level of your scores. What is measured? This explains what each test measures. Please note students often assume the numerical test measures maths potential, but in fact it's measuring confidence in handling numerical data, which is relevant for careers in commerce, business and finance. What is the range at the end of each bar for? This explains the margin for error with these types of tests. It simply means that on a different day you might get a slightly different result. Now if you told us that you have a specific learning need or a health issue when you signed up for the assessment, this will be noted on the right of the aptitude screen. It will be sensible to discuss with an advisor how your scores have been affected as Morrisby doesn't adjust any of your scores for a specific learning need or health issue. And if you told us that English isn't your first language, you can take an English vocabulary test so we can adjust your scores if appropriate. If you haven't done the English vocabulary test yet, you'll find a link to the test on the right of the aptitudes page. Well, moving on to interests. This is where the results of the aspirations questionnaire are shown. The length of the colour bars shows your strength of interest in different categories and there's an interpretation underneath. The blue bars relate to your interest in working directly with people. The red bars show your interest in a job where the focus is on handling information or data. And the green bars relate to the more practical careers, dealing with real things that can be seen and touched. Select any of the links on the left for an explanation of that area, like this. If you declared any specialist interests, these will be shown on the right here. Remember that your Morrisby assessment can't measure talent in sport, music, languages, performing arts or art and design. So if you wish to pursue a career in one of these areas, you should consider realistically your likelihood of success, maybe by talking to someone who knows you well and have a backup plan. Do look at the World of Work chart. It shows more specific areas of interest which you might want to consider. For our sample student Nick, the numerical segment is the largest. And you can see which subcategories he's most interested in by selecting this segment. So he's most interested in business, accountancy and economics, rather than maths and statistics. Now before you go any further, do check if you can see a link between your main interests and the pattern of your aptitude scores, i.e. your strengths. For most students, there's usually a match between their aptitude profile and one or more of their main interest areas. If there's a mismatch, that's something you need to consider carefully. Now in Nick's case, his interest in analysing numbers here matches well with his very high numerical aptitude score here, which along with his very high verbal aptitude score supports careers in a commercial occupation. Now don't forget you can retake the aspirations questionnaire at any time if you think your interests or preferences have changed and the link is here on the right of the screen. Now let's have a look at work style and workplace. 
The results in both these sections arise from your answers to the aspirations questionnaire. In work style, you can see your preference for the type of organisation and type of role that you would prefer to work in. You can see that Nick would prefer to work for a smaller organisation and is equally happy to lead others or to be a team player. In Workplace, you can read about your working environment preferences here. Well, we move on next to the personality area, where you can find a summary of your responses to the personality questionnaire. Personality looks at the way you think, feel and behave. It's helpful to consider this as you choose your career path. Check that you agree with the comments about yourself under the four scales in your Morrisby account. The key features are shown at the top right here. How well does your personality type fit with the rest of your profile? In Nick's case, he has an executive personality profile, which could work well in a commercial occupation. Remember, you can retake the questionnaire at any time if you wish. The Priorities questionnaire is optional, so you may not have answered it yet. It explores where your preferences and motivations lie. It will help you consider what's important to you and what will give you job satisfaction. To answer the questionnaire, simply select the link on this page in your account. Nick's responses are shown here. Learning style draws on various aspects of your profile. Scroll down to the paragraph under the diagram to find out how you learn best. Then consider how understanding your preferred learning style might influence your choice of course or career. Study interest is another optional questionnaire aimed at sixth formers who are considering university. If you're interested in the university route, Year 12 is a good time to answer this questionnaire. Here are Nick's results. The degree subjects he's most interested in are listed here in order of preference. Well, so far we've looked at a student's profile in About Me. Now let's look at their career suggestions in My Choices. So the careers in this area of your account are matched to your profile and also the proposed qualification level and route that you expect to take. You can either view them as tiles like the one showing on the screen now, or as a list like this. What do you think of your career suggestions? Does the list confirm your current ideas, or suggest new ideas? What appeals to you and why? Do favour any careers that interest you, like this. Remember this is not a finite list of careers. You can change your proposed qualification level to see what effect it has on the careers, like this. So let's change degree to full-time employment. You can see all these careers are new entries to the list. Let's change it back to degree. You can also use the focus on boxes up here to vary the list. So our student is interested in sport, so by selecting specialist interests, some sports related careers have appeared or moved up the careers list. Now let's select a career to find out more. Let's try systems analyst as an example. So here's a description of what the job involves, plus information about salary and working hours. In media, there are videos of people talking about their jobs. Under this, you can see the qualifications required to become a systems analyst. The routes diagram shows the typical routes for a young person to this career. Related careers give further career ideas based on similar skills and interests. This list can be another way of broadening your ideas. And resources include links to useful websites, professional bodies and case studies. Now let's close the career description and just note you can also find out if you'll have the qualifications and experience required for entry to a career by checking the requirement status column here. So let's look at systems analyst. And here we can see the qualifications that you'll need to enter this career and one that you may need to enter the career. Well, let's move to the qualifications area now. And in options at 16, you can explore and select subjects for sixth form study, as shown here, 
or you can look at alternative subjects that you could study at college or maybe through an apprenticeship under the alternative routes heading. So here's an example. And there's the apprenticeship information for accountancy. The destinations area is all about routes you could take at 18. In options at 18, you'll find university study suggestions. So select a subject to find out more about it. And there's the description. And lots of other information. And to view courses in this subject area, simply select View Courses. And here's a list of universities that offer degrees in accounting or accountancy. You can also use the course search to find university courses in other subjects. And you can use the Apprenticeships tab to find apprenticeship vacancies. The planner shows a summary of the activity in your Morrisby account, subjects and courses you've selected and careers you've favourited. Now looking ahead in progress, you can set yourself goals in the Action Plan area, you can keep a record of your planned and completed career related activities here. And in this area, you can find out about the essential skills needed to increase your employability. The locker is for useful documents. You can keep your own notes, read an advisor's summary of an interview you've had with them. You can create a personal statement or you can download a report of your assessment results. And finally, if you want to invite a parent or guardian to view your account and support you with the choices that lie ahead, you can send them an invite in the Parental Access area here. Well, don't forget that you have a login for life to your Morrisby account. We hope you'll find it's a useful resource as you plan your future.